Good day everyone. Today we shall be considering binomial theorem of expansion. By the way, this is Gifted Brain, aka Saizu, first in Africa, sixth in the world. Okay, two things are important in any expansion actually. And the first is the terms of the expansion without their coefficients. And the second is the coefficient of the terms of the expansion. I would like to talk about the first before the second now which is the term of the expansion without their coefficients okay let's take an example now let's expand the following without their coefficients we have x plus y all raised to power 3 the b says x minus 2y all raised to power 4 1 plus 3s all raised to power 5 and the d says 2 minus 2y squared all raised to power 3 now let's take the first one which is the a which is x plus y all raised to power all raised to power 3 please just take note of how we do that now now the first thing i want to say is that you see this power here theory tells you the what we call the n value the n value that is what it tells you. so the power n is theory for this a question for the b the power n is four for the c the power n is five on and on now let's look at this now to get the terms without their coefficients this is how we do it we take the first thing we have here which is the x and raise it to the power of the n of the question which is 3 and the second thing we have there which is the y we take we have make give it the power of 0 the second term we would have here is x raised to the power 2 and i take note of something here the x has decreased by 1 the it power decreased by 1 why the y which is second thing will increase by 1 so it, it was 0 formally and now it is now 1 now the next one will be x raised to the power 1 because I decrease, decrease further by 1 and then y will increase by 1 which is 2 and then the third which is x is to power 0 now and y is to power 3 so this is how to get the terms let's take a b for instance now the b question says x minus 2y all raised to power 4 again quite easily done the n here is 4 so start with x again having a power of 4 and but here it is minus 2y not just 2y minus 2y all raised to power 0 then the next one will be x raised to power 3 it has decreased by 1 and then the minus 2y now will increase by 1 so and then again a further decrease by 1 for the x which is 2 now and then the minus 2y will have a power of 2 and then x decrease further by 1 which is x raised to power 1 now and then the minus 2y we increase by 1 that will be 3 now and then again x raised to power 0 and then minus 2y raised to power 4 the question is when do i know when to stop well quite easily done when the second thing like the first question we did s plus y when that y assumes the power of the n which is the 3 you stop is look at it here now when the minus 2y assume the power of 4 which is the n we add to stop you can do the b and then the c the c sorry and then the d on and on so let's try the c by ourselves the c comes out this way and then you can also take a pause and then try the d on your own likewise so quite easily done so that's the d now i i want to bring out something here now for the a question the n is three and then how many terms do we have we have the first term we have the second term, we have the fourth term, I the third term, sorry, and we have the fourth term. We have fourth term when the n is three. For the B question, we have the n that the n is four. And then how many terms do we have? We have one, two, three, four, and then five. It is then obvious that whatever the n is, if the n is three, we have four terms. If the n is 4, we have 5 terms. If the n is 10 in that, for that expansion, we have 11 terms. So we can conclude to say there are n plus 1 number of terms in any expansion. So that's, that's about getting the terms of any expansion without their coefficient. But again, I want you to know that these expansions are not complete. Why? Because we are yet to add their coefficient and that will take us to the second thing we want to talk about today the coefficient of any term 
of an expansion. Now, there are three ways the coefficient of the terms are obtained in an expansion. The first one is by Pascal triangle. The second is by method of combination and the third is by factorial method. The third method actually is a name I just give to the method. The method had been, but I really don't know the name. I don't think it has a name. So, but I often call it the factorial method. Now let's talk about the Pascal triangle. Take note of take note of the pattern of the Pascal triangle. We have one, and then we have one and one. Now I want to see something now. First of all, let's look at the second thing I've written here: one and one. Actually, every expansion begins with one. The coefficient begins with one and ends with one. Actually, now look at the next thing I want to do now. I will have one here and then begins with one and end with what one then there is something ought to be in the middle how do you get that it is by adding what is here and what is here together that one plus one will give me two now take note again again i want to do the next one which is the fourth thing one and end with one how do i get the middle thing add this one to this two and that will give me three so the next one again is to add this two to this one this two here to this one and that will give us three likewise again start with one and end with one on and on we can keep doing this obviously to get the middle thing is to i say one plus three that will give me the four here and three plus three that will give me the six here and then to say three plus one that will give me the four here so we can keep doing this one again begins with one and end with one now one plus four will give me five 4 plus 6 will give me 10. 6 plus 4 will give me 10. And 4 plus 1 will give me 5. So you can keep doing this on and on. Begins with 1 again and end with 1. And you can then guess what the middle terms will be just by adding. 1 plus 4 will give me 6. 5 plus 10 will give me 15. 10 plus 10 will give me 20. On and on. Again, I come back to want to say that. You see, the first thing we have here, sorry, the first thing we have here is used when n is equal to 0. n, remember, is the power of the expansion. For the second one, it is when n is equal to 1. The third one is when n is equal to 2. The fourth is when n is equal to 3 when n is equal to 4 the fifth is when n is equal to 5 the sixth is when n is equal to 6 you can do it the n equals to 7 8 9 and 10 i love stopping at 10 so if you want to do for the seventh one now begins with one again and end with one and then you keep adding the previous term which is 7 21 35 35, 21, and then 7. That's that about that. So T10 will look somewhat like this. This is it for N equals 10. Now let's take some kind of questions now and find a way of expanding them, including their coefficients. Example 2. Expand the following completely. The A says S plus Y always to part 3. Well, the first thing to do here to solve this a now we have x plus y all raised to power 3 as usual get the terms first s raised to power 3 y raised to power 0 plus s raised to power 2 y raised to power 1 plus s raised to power 1 now and y raised to power 2 again the s will decrease further S is to power 0 now. And Y raised to power. Y raised to power 3. And so, from here, the next thing I would do now is to add the coefficient. Again, to get the coefficient, go back to your Pascal triangle. For N equal to 3. Because you can see this power that the N is 3. And so, go back to your Pascal triangle. For our Pascal triangle, N is 3. Give us 1, 3, 3, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. That's the coefficient. This is it here. 1, 3, 3, 1. So I will pick that up. 
So add that to my expansion now. That will be one theory theory one. Thank you. And so that's it. So you can simplify now. This is one times s is to power three is to s is to power three, and then y is to power zero is one plus theory times x square times your y plus theory times x times your y square plus one times s is to power zero is one so one then times y is to power three so our final answer will look somewhat like this s is to power three plus three x square y three x square y and then plus three x y square and then plus y q so this is our final answer our final answer we can take the b likewise and evaluate it we have x minus 2y all raised to power 4 all raised to power 4 obviously we would have s is to power 3 now and then your minus 2y raised to power 0 sorry it is s is to power 4 not 3 so i will change that s is to power 4 and then plus now s will decrease by 1 which is s is to power 3 and then the minus 2y we raise to power 1 now and then plus s raised to power what now 2 it will decrease by 1 and then the minus 2y will be raised to power 2 and then plus s raised to power 1 now and then the minus 2y raised to power 3 and then finally s raised to power 0 and then the minus 2y raised to power 4. The next thing to do is to go back to your Pascal triangle again and check what is the value, what is the coefficient when n is 4 because this expansion says is, this expansion is raised to power 4. So I'll go back to my Pascal triangle. So the Pascal triangle says that when n is 4, we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So I'll just include that into the expansion. So n would have 1, 4, 6, 4, and then 1. So let's evaluate this now. This will give me 1 times s raised to the power 4. Obviously, anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So plus now 4 times s cube times minus 2y. And then plus 6 times x squared times minus 2y raised to the power 2 will give me 4y squared. Because that is minus 2y times minus 2y. And that will give me 4y squared. The minus is eliminated. Plus, again, 4 times s raised to the power 1 is just x. And then minus 2y raised to the power 3 will give me minus 8y cubed. And then again, plus 1 times 1 times minus 2y raised to the power 4 will give me 16y raised to the power 4. So, on simplifying this, this will give me s raised to the power 4 here. And then minus 8x cubed y plus 24x square y square. And then plus, sorry, minus, minus 32xy cube and then plus 16y raised to the power 4. And that's our answer. So you can try the C on your own. But if you do that, you will obtain what we have below. Okay, so on trying for the C, which is x squared plus 3, all raised to the power 5. And the answer will be x raised to the power 10 plus 15x raised to the power 8 plus 90x raised to the power 6 plus 270x raised to the power 4 plus 405x squared plus 243. And that's the answer. So that's that about that. Let's take the following exercises. You can try these following exercises on your own. Okay, so that's that for that.